Hey guys, welcome back to this video on the Artemis mission, which will be a great mission whenever it does launch. We will talk about Artemis 1's timeline, payloads, and weather, so let's get right on into it. But some information has had zero emissions, zero successes, it costs two billion dollars per launch, and then launching to translunar injection, it can launch up to 60,000 pounds. It is 322 feet tall with a diameter of 27.6 feet. Stages is two. This is the first SLS launch. This is the second orbital launch of Orion. The third flight of Orion. The 158th orbital launch attempt of 2022. The furthest crewed rated spacecraft that has ever been launched. And the most powerful rocket launched into orbit. So Argo Moon. Argo Moon is a CubeSat that will launch into heliocentric orbit on Artemis 1, the maiden flight of the Space Launch System. The objective of the Argo Moon spacecraft is to take detailed images of the interim cryogenic propulsion stage following Orion separation an operation that will demonstrate the ability of a CubeSat to conduct precise proximity of maneuvers in deep space. We have Near Scout, or Near Earth Asteroid Scout, which is a planned mission by NASA to develop a controllable low-cost CubeSat solar sail spacecraft capable of encountering Near Earth Asteroids, or Near, Near Scout will be one of 10 CubeSats to be carried into a heliocentric orbit on Artemis 1. The planned target, which is subject to change, is the Near Earth Asteroid 2020 GE. The asteroid will make a close approach to Earth in September 2023, which is when Near Scout is scheduled to make its flyby. The spacecraft will approach the asteroid at less than a mile distant and make the slowest flyby of any spacecraft of any asteroid by any spacecraft at less than 30 meters per second. A 14 megapixel camera, the mission sole instrument, will image the object at very high resolutions of up to 10 centimeters per pixel. BioSentinel is a planned low cost CubeSat spacecraft on a astrobiology mission that will use budding yeast to detect, measure, and compare the impact of deep space radiation on DNA repair of a long time beyond low Earth orbit. The mission is being developed by NASA Ames Research Center. Lunar is a planned nanosatellite spacecraft that will fly by the moon and collect surface spectroscopy and, and thermography. It is planned to fly as a secondary payload on the Artemis 1 mission. This mission is developed by Lockheed Martin. CubeSat for Solar Particles, or QSP, is a planned nanosatellite spacecraft that will study the dynamic particles and magnetic fields that stream from the sun. Along with the Lunar Ice Cube and Lunar IR, Lunar H Map, or Lunar Polar Hydrogen Mapper, will help investigate the possible presence of water ice on the moon. Arizona State University began develop on Lunar H Map after being awarded a contract by NASA in early 2015. Eculus, uh, Equilibrium Lunar Earth Point 6U spacecraft is a nano satellite of the 6U CubeSat format that will measure the distribution of plasma that surrounds the Earth, the plasma sphere, to help scientists understand the radiation environment in that region. It will also demonstrate low Earth trajectory control techniques, such as multiple lunar flybys within the Earth moon region using water steam as propellant. The spacecraft was designed and developed jointly by JAXA, or the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and the University of Tokyo. Omo Tanasi, or Outstanding Moon Exploration Technologies demonstrated by Nano Semi Hard Impactor, is a small spacecraft and semi hard lander of the 6U CubeSat format that will demonstrate low-cost technology to 
land that and explore the lunar surface. The CubeSat will also take measurements of the radiation environment near the moon as well as on the lunar surface. Omentanasi is a Japanese word for welcome or hospitality. T-Miles is a 6U CubeSat that is manufactured by Fluid and Reason LLC and is going into heliocentric orbit. All Titans are listed in Eastern that I am about to say, and let's get right on into the Artemis 1 events. Liftoff of Artemis 1, T0, is at 1.07 a.m. on November 16th, 2022. All events will be on November 16th, 2022, unless said otherwise. Solid Rocket Booster Separation, T plus 2 minutes 12 seconds at 109.12 a.m. Surface Module Panels Jettison at T plus 3 minutes 24 seconds at 01.1024. Launch Abort Tower Jettisons at T plus 3 minutes 30 seconds at 01.1030 a.m. Core stage main engine cutoff at T plus 8 minutes 4 seconds at 01.15.04. And core stage and interim cryogenic propulsion stage separation at T plus 8 minutes and 16 seconds or 01.1516 a.m. And begin Orion Solar Array deployment at T plus 18 minutes and 20 seconds at 012520 AM and end Orion Solar Array deployment at T plus 30 minutes 20 seconds at 013720 AM and then begin the Pair G raise maneuver at T plus 53 minutes 46 seconds at 020046 AM an end pair G race maneuver 54 minutes into the launch at and 8 seconds at 020108 am. And then beginning the translunar injection burn at 1 hour 33 minutes and 21 seconds 024021. End translunar injection burn. Injection burn, 1 hour 51 minutes and 21 seconds, 025821 AM. Orion and interim cryogenic propulsion stage separation, T plus 2 hours and 1 minute and 26 seconds at 030826 AM. Upper stage separation burn at uh, T plus 2 hours 020. Upper stage separation burn, T plus 2 hours 02. Um, 02 minutes and 48 seconds at 030948 AM. Interim cryogenic propulsion stage deposal burn at T plus 3 hours 25 minutes and 26 seconds. 043226 AM. First trajectory correct burn at T plus 7 hours 51 minutes and 26 seconds at 085821 AM. Any information beyond this point shows the dates and not the specific time. Outbound coasting phase, T plus 2 days to T plus 5 days, 1118 to 1121, 2022. Transit to distant retrograde orbit is T plus 6 days to T plus 9 days, 1121, 2022 to 1124, 2022. And Artemis 1 in distant rest retrograde orbit. T plus 10 days to T plus 15 days, 11.25.22 to 11.30.22. Artemis 1 exit, exiting distant retrograde orbit is T plus 16 days to T plus 19 days, which is December 1st to December 4th, 2022. Artemis 1 return powered flyby of the moon is at T plus 20 days, so that's of the Earth. T plus 20 days, 11.28 a.m. on December 5th, 2022. Artemis 1 return transit, T plus 33 days to T plus 43 days. December 5th, 2022 to December 11th, 2022. 
Other Mess with one entry and splash down two plus 26 days. On December 11th, 2022, it will be most likely recovered by USS Portland in the Pacific Ocean off of San Diego, California at 12.40 p.m. So here we have the weather, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Weather is supposed to be well at 72 degrees Fahrenheit with south-south with south south winds at 6 miles per hour, humidity at 97%. With 42% cloud cover, and that is the largest rule with the cumulus cloud rule at 107 a.m. Eastern Standard, uh, yes, Eastern Daylight Time. It is a 90% go for launch for weather and precipitation at 7%. Up 11, one shear is low, same as solar activity. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video on NASA's Artemis 1 mission. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye, and stay safe.